Behold, a magnificent song every finger-picking guitar player should know. And it's really held up well over all these years. It was written by Paul Simon, one half of the American folk rock duo Simon and Garfunkel. Now the story goes is he was feeling a little bit disillusioned with the world. He was 21 years old and wrote it at his parents' house in the bathroom. He went in there and turned off the lights to focus and came up with this iconic riff. I'm talking about the sound of silence. Let's get into this guitar lesson. So first up, I've got a capo here on the sixth fret. And I'm gonna play in the key of A minor on the guitar, but the actual concert pitch is E flat minor. Now, E flat minor is a bit of a, a bugaboo key to finger pick in, so just use a capo here on the sixth fret. And then what we're gonna do is start off with the second fret there on the third string, and we're gonna play that note, then the first string, then the second string, then the first string open, and just go back and forth like this. And we do that for two bars. In the second bar on beat three, you have the vocal come in, hello darkness, my old friend, right? And so Paul Simon sings that, so it's one and two and three and four and one. Hello darkness, my old friend. And then we go to a G chord. And if you've struggled to play in this style, I wanna give you a gift that's really gonna help you out. And what it is is my Fingerstyle Jumpstart PDF. And on it, I'm gonna show you the five most powerful exercises that are gonna whip your finger picking hand into shape and help you get going in record time. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash Fingerstyle Jumpstart and you can download this right now as my gift to you. Now there's only four chords you need to know. So we've got that A minor, which kicks us off there. There. And it's based, that opening lick is based off an A minor. It's like an A minor nine. But the straight A minor would just be open, two, two, one, open. Then when I go to G, I play it like this folk style, which is based off this chord. I just play two fingers, third fret of the low E and third fret on the first string. Then we've got a C chord, which is from the fifth string down, three, two, open, one, open. Now keep in mind when we play our finger picking pattern, we're gonna do this cool thing where we alternate the bass there. It's gonna play the third fret of the fifth string and then also the third fret of the sixth string. Then the last chord is F. And there's a few ways you can do this. I think the easiest way you know, to get it smooth in the song is to put your thumb on the first fret of the low E and then you can play the top three strings like this. Two, one, one, just a little bar there. Now if that's too hard, then you can play F just four strings down like this. Three, two, one, one. And then anytime when I play this, when I'm gonna play the part, you can just play the fourth string instead if the thumb is uncomfortable. So you got two versions there of the F chord. Pick whatever one is comfortable for you. So when we get to that G, we're gonna play the sixth string, the first string, then the third string, then the first string. That's our pattern there, so. Then A minor. Now there I'm going five, one, three, two, just for the pattern there. Then change to C. Okay. That's the first four bars. So it's hello darkness, my old G. Go to A minor. And quick change to C. Then we go for the next four bars, we're gonna go F. Now this is a two four bar. So we're gonna go one and two and, and then back to C. Okay, so there's a few times throughout the song where we have just a, a two four bar where we'll just count one and two and, and then go to one again. Now, when I get to this C, here I'm going. Remember I said we we're gonna alternate the bass there? That's what I'm doing there. So C, 
alternate the days. C. Then we go to F, back to C. Okay, so let me back up and play these four bars, starting from the F, which is a two four bar. One and two and C. F, C. So here's what we've got so far, starting with the pickup into the verse. Hello darkness, my old G. A minor. C. Next part. F, two four bar, back to C. Alternate the bass. F, C. All right, you're halfway through it. Let's keep going here. We've got the F chord next. We're gonna go. For two bars, okay? That's just six, one, three, two for the finger picking pattern. That's just a simple pattern there with the finger picking hand. Six, one, three, two. Okay, then we go to C and we do this little lick. Okay, so what I did there was I played the C, just same as before, alternate the bass, and then just a little pinch there. That's the second fret on the third string, first fret on the second string, and then take off that middle finger. So it's Then we do a walk down, C to A minor. Then C, we've got a two four bar, one and two and then G. And then back to the intro. Okay, so that's A minor there in the last two bars. And then I just strummed the A minor chord. So let me back up and play the second half of it, starting from the F. Here we go. One, two, and. All right, let's put the entire verse together now. I'm gonna play through it one time and we'll just lead in with that pickup. The vocal's gonna go, Hello darkness, my old G. Now what about the strumming pattern to this song? Well, if you don't wanna finger pick it, you can strum it too, and you can do this with a finger style approach. What I would do here is I would just go down, up. Okay, so I'm gonna play an eighth note rhythm, one and two and three and four and one and two and three, and just go through the chords with an eighth note feel like that. So that would sound like this. Hello darkness, my old G. Minor, just simple strumming. One, two, C, F, C. One, and two, and F, C, two, three, four, F. G. G. 
So give it a try both ways and you might find in the song, maybe you play the first few verses finger picking and then you switch to strumming and that builds the energy of the song. Or of course you could just finger pick the whole thing or just strum the whole thing. All are great ways to practice. Now, again, if you need help with this, be sure to grab my fingerstyle jump start. On it, I'm gonna show you the five most powerful exercises that are gonna get your finger picking hand in shape in record time. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fingerstyle jump start and grab that right now as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll really like this one next.